Have you ever wondered what the difference is between the save and export commands in PhotoKey? I'm Axel Wilkinson from FX Home, and I'm going to briefly take a look at the difference between these commands and how each one works. For a moment, let's compare the process of creating your final image in PhotoKey to making a cake. There are various ingredients and instructions that go into the cake, which are detailed in the recipe. You then follow that recipe to create a delicious cake, which you can share with other people. Well, think of your PhotoKey project as the recipe, and the final image you create as the cake. In PhotoKey, the save command is used to save your PhotoKey project, which contains all the ingredients and instructions that PhotoKey needs to create your finished image. Export is used to create a new image file based on all of the settings that you have made in PhotoKey. The PhotoKey toolset is arranged in logical progression. Set up your canvas, import your images, key out the green screen, enhance the images further, and then export the finished result. Exporting gives you the finished image, but the project stores all the info necessary to recreate that image later. So in this example, we have foreground and background images, which we've imported. There's also two layers, one for this border that we imported and another layer for this logo down in the corner. And then we have two text objects, one for the name of the player and one for their position, which we can further edit. The PhotoKey project stores the name and location of each of those images which we've imported, as well as any adjustments we've made in the filters or the effects and what text is stored in each of our text objects so that we could edit that later on. So once we save our project, then we can reopen it to this exact condition so that we could further adjust the colors or perhaps edit the text. We can continue making any further adjustments we want to this image from the exact point we left off. Now, if you are looking to create a new picture file, which would combine all of these elements that we've added and adjusted, then you want to use the export command. Use the export tool set to select the format that you export to. Now, in standard versions of PhotoKey, this is just called export. In any pro version of PhotoKey, it's called batch export. But in any case, you select that export tool set and you'll have control over the export options here. We can select a format that our exported images will be saved to and adjust the quality and the file names using those commands. Once we've set that up, there are multiple ways to export your image. You can use the button in the export tool set, or if you're in a pro version of PhotoKey, you can use the batch export button to export multiple images at once. The file menu contains an export canvas command, which you can use to export your current image exactly as it looks on the canvas. You'll notice there's also a keyboard shortcut, Command E on the Mac or Control E if you're on Windows. And the toolbar at the top of the interface also has an export button. So you can use that to quickly export the current image as well. So in review, the save command creates a recipe, a project file which stores all the information PhotoKey needs to create our final image. The export command creates a new image based on all of the instructions in that recipe. So hopefully this clarifies things for some of you. I thank you for taking a minute to watch this video, and I'll see you next time.